Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, December 2nd, 2019. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't because this is a general reading. Also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 2nd of December, it doesn't mean that it has to have it has to resonate at that time. Yes? Okay, awesome. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday weekend. Um, I hope everyone had a, gr a really wonderful Thanksgiving. I had a really great day and a really great weekend. It was really nice. So, yeah. Um, so, interestingly enough, coming into the reading today for the collective, things feel very, very new. Um, I was just sitting here with the energy just kind of like trying to channel and you know get connected see if i can pick up on something and things just felt really new i was seeing all kinds of different colors from our orange um i was seeing orange i was seeing yellow blue i was hearing green but i didn't actually see green um and I was sitting here just kind of like collecting the, and the, collecting myself and getting situated within the energy in it. And I didn't feel like I wanted to pull a pre-shuffle because I feel like, I feel like in some way we're going to be telling a new story today or at least just talking about something different that I just heard is off topic to what we normally discuss. I don't know. Maybe the narrative is changing a little bit. Maybe the dynamic within the collective is changing. I'm not sure. This really does feel like a brand new energy. So um, let's just get started and see what we have here. Yeah, and see what comes up for us. Okay. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, December 2nd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. They're giving me, they're saying five shuffles here, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and my, I might sound a little bit croaky, like I have a bit of a frog in my throat. There, is a, there was a minor, like, cold that went around <laughs> over, like, this last weekend that me and a number of my friends got. Um, it was really minor. I'm already getting over it, but I'm, I am coughing up like a bunch of phlegm and stuff so that's why my voice sounds like this right now <laughs> okay well let's um let's get going here five shuffles for our monday december 2nd 2019 can you guys believe that we're already in december like 2020 is around the corner guys and i just saw 333 on the counter as i said that so we're definitely being ushered into this brand new day this brand new time this new reality 2020 is going to be a really i'm hearing a doozy of a year and the reason why spirit said that is because um and apparently this is coming straight from the pleiades but apparently there's going to be <laughs> they're saying mass awakenings mass mass shifts in consciousness i'm hearing shifts in in, in entitlement which is weird um that's a very specific phrase but i think what they're saying is what they're alluding to is people are going to possibly in their awakening or probably possibly going to be finding themselves in situations in which their sense of entitlement is going to change is going to be changed is going to be questioned um yikes <laughs> and i just saw 444 on the counter there whoa okay um that could cause some serious upheavals guys so if you Ooh, okay. Well, the two of wands just popped out. 
<laughs> um, if you have any people in your life that are going through or have this certain sense of entitlement here, um, that have conducted themselves in certain ways due to their sense of entitlement, and they could be in for a rude awakening. You might want to steer clear. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. So the Two of Wands has come out here. And I want to leave it because to be quite honest, this is falling in line with the energy that I'm picking up on of um, a new chapter. So... I feel like many of you are already in the process of planning or at least cognitively um, assessing what it is that you want to be doing, um, a new direction that you want to move in, um, a, a new type of move that you want to make, two of wands. There's a decision on the horizon. I'm also getting your your you might be you might have been in an energy of developing a plan of action and what cuz what I just heard is putting that plan into action you may have been deciding what road you want to take what path you want to follow where you want to go yeah putting some sort of plan into action is the strongest thing i'm getting with this there might be some still some decisions that need to be made here. But there is a new path on the horizon. There, is a, there are new opportunities on the horizon. This feels really good. This two of wands here. Let's see what else we can get for today. For our Monday, December 2nd. A new, a new chapter is definitely starting, you guys. I can feel it. I can totally feel it. And whatever it is that's new for you here, I feel like you're really super excited about it. Again, this could be something that has been in the works for a long time for you. And it could just be a product of what... Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to pull some more. But it could be a product of, you know, maybe you've been planning on this for some time. Or it could be just an effect of what you've been working on over this last year, also over these last two years, this could be a culmination of something that was catalyzed back in the summer of 2017. As many of y'all know that have been following me for however long, for the, almost two years now, my, cat, my big catalyst moment was the summer of 2017. And it was that way for a lot of people. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Oh my goodness, you damn right we're going to stop here. <laughs> okay, overall energy, you have the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Okay, um, there definitely could be a new relationship on the horizon. And actually, that was something that I was picking up on with the Two of Wands here. Someone may be, try may be deciding to go in a different direction, follow a new path, follow a new journey when it comes to matters of the heart. That could be something you may have been working on for a long time over this last year, maybe over these last two years, especially if you're someone that resonates with the twin flame journey. This and what I'm picking up on specifically is, and this would be for the feminines out there, but you have been, especially this year, you have been really working on <laughs> expanding your horizons so that you don't have... <laughs> okay, well, this is... I'm going to say it this way because it's funny. So that you don't have to deal with that person that you've been dealing with anymore. Okay, that's what, that's what it may look like on the surface. <laughs> and as I'm saying that, I'm getting a download <laughs> on my masculine side, on my right side. But that may, what it look, that may be what it look, looks like on the surface. That may be what your ego might be. That might be the story that your ego may have been telling you. But in reality... And I guess I'm get I guess I'm getting a download on my right on my masculine side because there are some masculines that are hearing that that are getting triggered. And what's really going on beneath the surface is this for some of you, you've been working on the universe has been setting you up to align with someone new altogether to begin with. That may have been part of the plan all along. Okay. But 
you may have been under a different impression because you were under the, you were learning, you were in the process of learning the lesson of unconditional love, right? Aha, there's the kicker. The lesson of unconditional love. Okay. A new relationship absolutely is on the horizon for some of you. And that's mainly because the devil is no longer looking. You're no longer longer under the devil's grasp. You, you, you know, you've gotten past the, 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 you've gotten past the test of the devil. And there is absolutely a light at the end of the tunnel. Do you, I just noticed this, but do you see all of this like white, like light here? I literally, I have never seen that. I've never noticed that on this card before, but the light is shining through, okay? You do have the two of cups. Wow, you have the two of cups with the ace of cups. Wow. <laughs> you have the four of wands and you have the ace of pentacles. So there really could be uh, a new relationship on the horizon here. A new relationship on the horizon. Um, it's interesting because this is coming out as the Two of Cups is here, is in the sunlight, right? Is in the daylight. So that could mean that, you know, this is an energy of a relationship being out in the open, being made public, um, two people consciously coming together. But then the Ace of Cups is on the nighttime, is on the night scene right and you see you have this what could be con could be considered the knight of cups here you have this this in, this gentleman riding up on um uh a horse it could be seen as the knight of cups like coming forward wanting to make an offer whatnot whatever what i'm kind of getting here is two people may be aware of like certain feelings for each other two people might be consciously interested in each other um but no one has really made an offer yet i'm getting an energy of there's a little bit of shyness here so the two of you and this does this feels pretty new you guys this really does feel pretty new again this is a general reading so it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be new but um i'm just getting a, an energy or a feeling of two people kind of consciously aware that they that they that they like each other that the one that the other might kind of have feelings or might be kind of interested in the other but there still might be some shadow around actually saying something making an offer ace of cups here Someone might be might be trying to figure out how to approach someone else. But you do have a situation or a circumstance here in which it does feel like someone, you finally found each other. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> <clears throat> Two people that might be coming together through some sort of hardship that you both have faced and now i'm feeling like you both have faced this on your own and you're coming together and it's not necessarily like you've 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 done this together no you've you've faced some sort of hardship on your own in your own lives and now you're coming together on some sort of common ground what i get with this with this side of the ten of cups are these these are two people that are on that find themselves on some sort of desert island and all they have is each other, but that's okay because that's all they really need is each other. And I kind of get almost a feeling of desperation of, oh my God, I've been alone or I've been on my own or I've been doing this by myself for so long. I finally found someone that really truly understands me or at least understands what I've been going through or the hardships of blah, blah, blah. This, this really could be anything, you guys. Now, okay. Be careful, be very careful, because what I just, I just got a flash of an energy of it's us against the world with this type of card, don't, or this type of energy. I caution you against allowing yourselves to slip into that, okay? That can be very, very dangerous. That can really, and that can really, that type of energy, it being us, an us against the world type of situation can really isolate and alienate you or other people around you. Okay. Be very careful with that. That was kind of the energy that I had with my ex-husband 
and that didn't end that i mean that situation did not end well <laughs> okay <laughs> so just be very careful but then you do have the ace of wands here there's some sort of relief you guys that i'm feeling here uh, some like I keep getting this feeling of we found each other through the madness somehow. I don't know. However that resonates for you, take it as it resonates. But there is definitely a sense of relief here. The, um, this could be something that leads to some sort of marriage or leads to some sort of solid relationship. Um, you have the Page of Pentacles with the Four of Wands here. I'm also getting that there is... a. Uh, someone is ready to have some sort of commitment some sort of offer made towards them you have the spiritual foundation that you need you have you've you've and and you've gotten that spiritual foundation by going through whatever it is you've gone through over these past two years maybe more who knows it's like you're finally for whomever this is you're finally ready to have the really solid foundational relations foundation of a relationship that you really have wanted desired for so long please keep in mind that this this is not going to happen all that quickly okay i'm getting that with the page of pentacles now the page of pentacles is in fact an offer it can't is it, it's an offer it's a message it's commitment it's starting over it's a new it's a new opportunity um, it's also a card or a, a card of learning, entrepreneurship, doing some sort of research. It's all those things. Okay, but this is something that's going to develop over time. This is not something that you really want to rush into. And I kind of feel like that's part of the lesson that you've been in. I don't feel like if you're really resonating with this, I don't feel like you are, you're wanting to rush anything. I do kind of feel like you're consciously aware of a new opportunity. And if you don't know where this opportunity is coming from, you may be feeling it. But I don't feel like you're in an energy or a mind space of wanting to rush into it anymore. I feel like that was a big part of your journey up, up until now. It's a big part of the things that you've been learning over this time period. Patience, divine timing, all that kind of stuff. So you might be excited about it, which is great, but also I feel like you're not trying to rush it. You want it to happen, develop naturally, which is very, which is a very, very good thing. Okay, a very good thing. A very good thing. Okay. I want to get into some clarification now. I want to look at the Ace of Cups with the Two of Cups here. Let's see what we can get from this. Shall we? Let's look a little deeper into this one here. Ace of Cups with the Two of Cups. One more shuffle. And I'm using the um, Crystal Visions deck today. Crystal Visions Tarot for clarification today. All right, let's see. What is this Two of Cups with the Ace of Cups here? Two of Cups with the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two of Cups look a little deeper what more can oh shoot it's the king of cups look at that mm, 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 y'all yes i want to get some more oh shit <laughs> the ten of cups is at the bottom of the deck here now all right so we have the ten of cups on two sides here so i wonder if there is a new chapter starting for some now you now y'all we i just sat here and talked about how there was something new coming and it could potentially be with someone who is completely new right but now i'm sitting here with this king of cups i'm sitting here wondering is this maybe the same person that's just like grown up 
whomever this person is, they feel very, very emotionally mature. This could be you, for all I know. This could be you that I'm channeling for. Have you grown up? Have you matured? Have you, have you stepped into a space of emotional responsibility? Emotional maturity? Taking action on what it is your heart truly desires? Hmm. I, want, I want more. I want to see more. Let's look. At, I mean, you do have this Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. But I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. This Ten of Cups isn't really telling me anything. Other than there is awareness of what someone truly wants, potentially. Okay, let's see. Let's get a little bit more here. Oh. Oh. You don't say. That is none other than the Ten of Swords here. In reverse. What else? Let's see. Because I'm being... Okay, let's do this now. I'm going to do this. One, two, three. Oh, shoot. Okay, four, actually. Oh, damn it. <laughs> and then you have the, t the tower at the bottom of the deck here. All right. Okay, guys. So check it out. You have the nine of pentacles, death, the nine of cups, the devil, and the tower. The devil is here twice. So, um... All right. Well, this could go one of two. This this could represent. Well, okay, this could go one in, of one of two ways. One, you have someone that's completely brand new coming into your life because you have put the past behind you. The Ten of Swords. You have re released some sort of pain, some sort of hurt. Um, you've stepped out in independence. You've stepped out and you've stepped into your own sense of autonomy, your independence, nine of pentacles. You've gone through a transformation. Your, your nine of cups, satisfaction, wish fulfillment, the nine of pentacles and, and, and the nine of cups, just, it feels like somebody's energy. Somebody is standing on their own. Somebody is creating their own happiness for themselves. They found self, this, this, this feels like self-sufficiency. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. I can do for myself. I don't need you or anybody else to make me happy. I know how to, I know how to satisfy myself. I know my worth. I know my value. I am fully connected to the abundance of the universe. I don't need you to make me happy. I make myself happy. And this is not coming from a place of arrogance. This is coming from a place of wisdom, understanding knowing what true happiness is and where true happiness comes from. That's what this feels like. Nine of cups, nine of pentacles, okay? And then thus you have death with the devil. Transformation away from toxicity, narcissism, codependency, um, uh, attachments, karmic cycles, that kind of energy, right? So again, this can go one of two ways. One, either you are this person, this King of Cups, who's wanting, who's standing in some sort of space of emo emotional maturity, emotional stability, an open heart, unconditionally loving, ready to love, ready to serve, ready to be a parent, ready, ready to be a father or a mother. Solid, stable, and secure. <coughs> Excuse me. And ready to or wanting to make an offer towards someone. Or because of the work that you've done here <clears throat> and the fact that you're in this Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles state, you've gone through this transformation here. You've released the Ten of Swords. You've released the Devil. And you've transformed. Now you're attracting someone like this into your life. King of Cups, or it could be both. It absolutely could be both. Yeah. 
Now you have the tower here. And I'm with, with the tower, I'm hearing sudden change. The tower doesn't mean that anything, it, the tower doesn't feel bad here. The tower just feels like something that comes completely out of the blue. You weren't seeing it, you weren't expecting it, and, and you probably weren't going to, you're not going to see it because I don't really think you're looking for it. I think, I think you are so content, you are so focused on your own life, on your own self, on your manifestation, on building your foundation. You are so focused on being. You are so focused on being that you do not see some sort of opportunity of love coming forward towards you. I want to clarify some more. I want to clarify this here. Because this looks like the offer coming forward towards you. I'm just going to put this off to the side. Two of Wands. Four of Wands. Page of Pentacles. I'm going to use a different deck also. I'm going to use my Dreaming Way Tarot here. I want to look at this because this right here feels like the, some sort of offer coming forward towards you. Now that we've, we've looked at all of this stuff, this right here feels like an offer coming forward. I, I feel like I want to get some sort of confirmation. I want to see if something is coming forward here. Let's see if we get the Ace of Pentacles here because I'm looking at this Nine of Pentacles, right? And this feels like someone that's standing in their, in their glory. And all they really need is, at this point, they just need that someone to come forward with that pentacle, that pentacle with, of, of on offer to complete the 10, right? But it's not, and, and I, guess the, I guess you could say that someone is standing here waiting for that, but it's not like you're really waiting for that. It's something that you want. It's something that you desire. It's something that you're working on manifesting. But again, you, you're so focused on living your life that it's not like you're really waiting for it and yet you are at the same time does that make sense it's just like well i know i want this so i'm going to make sure i'm ready for it but i'm also going to follow the steps that my intuition is guiding me towards that's what i just heard so i that's what i went with okay all right, I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then we're going to look a little deeper into this Two of Wands, Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles. I really, I really feel like a very happy home life, a happy marriage, something like that is, is on the horizon, is coming forward. It's what you've been setting yourself up for, maybe unbeknownst to yourself, um, subconsciously doesn't have to be subconsciously though because i do feel like there are some of you out there that are very well aware of what it is that you want out of love life a relationship and family and so you have been actively taking steps here to set yourself up for that with this nine of pentacles energy others of you you weren't consciously aware of it the universe has been lining things up for you so that you can receive it because you weren't aware you even wanted it to begin with universe knew though Mm hmm that's right honey okay so let's look at this here two of wands four of wands page of pentacles Th mm, there might be a little turmoil coming through with this though not gonna lie i just felt that let's see let's see a little bit of difficulty a little bit of obstacles maybe mm -hmm. i keep hearing marriage what is this Oh, well, there you go. Holy moly. This is the turmoil that I've been picking up on, or I was, I just picked up on the nine of swords. And they specifically told me to keep this reversed. I thought when it flew out, I was like, was that, is that supposed to be reversed? It might've turned upright. And when, as I went to go pick it up, they said, keep it reversed. The nine of swords is reversed here. So someone is getting over some sort of anxiety. 
Mm -hmm. Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. There may have been turmoil in the past. This very well could be someone that's coming back to your life, you guys. I'm not going to lie. And if it is meant to be that way, allow it to be that way. Stay here. Okay? Don't go throwing all kinds of resistance into the situation. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. King of Cups, you have, you have reached a greater sense of emotional maturity and unconditional love. You have... You have, you're too grown. You are too grown to let yourself throw any sort of resistance into the situation now if the right person for you is someone from your past, is someone that you had some pretty serious drama with. Because if you have over outgrown it and overcome it, they very well may have as well. Okay, let's go further. Now, keep in mind, this also could be someone that is entirely new to you, but is getting over some sort of anxiety. And I'm picking up, if this is someone that's brand new to you, um, you two, this is very much this Ten of Cups energy that I'm feeling here, where you two have been really, have been through the ringer individually, independently, in your own lives. And so now this is someone that's finally getting over that and is like ready to put themselves on the market again, so to speak. To come out of the come out of their cocoon to come out of the woodwork here okay let's keep going let's get a little bit of more information here oh geez <laughs> okay and this two of pentacles all right oh okay so there we go we have judgment all right so someone could be answering a higher calling. Someone, this could, and again, again, you guys, this really could be someone, This I, I'm just going with what I'm feeling here. This could be someone from the past. This could be someone that has been hearing some sort of call. Judgment. Again, this also could be someone new. Take it as it resonates. And also, if you're confused or if you don't know, then don't worry about it. Just listen. <laughs> Say, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Check it out. Six of Cups is in reverse. So maybe it's not someone from your past. Now, this also could be read as, because I just picked up on this too, it could be read as someone doesn't want to relive the past. Someone doesn't want to... Someone wants to change the past. Someone, mm, mm. page of cups, eight of pentacles, two of pentacles, page of wands, wheel of fortune, the magician, ace of cups, nine of pentacles. Okay, this could be, okay, all right, you guys, all right, you guys, this really could be something brand new for you. Really could be something brand new for you. I mean, the Six of Cups is in the reverse. The Six of Cups is a card of reminiscence, or reminiscing of past relationships, soulmates even. And we were just talking about this could be someone from your past, but it's not. It's not. The Six of Cups is reversed. Now, it could also be that maybe it could, it could entirely, it very well could be that Someone is not the person that they were in the past. Oh, shoot. My mic is... Hold on. My mic is freaking out. And I don't know why. Okay. All right. I, I get it, you guys. I get it. I get it. You know why my mic was cutting out? It's not someone from your past. It's not. Period. I, was, I guess I was playing devil's advocate there. I guess I was... Because this is a general reading. So, you know, it could, it could very well... But no. The past is over with. It's done with. Okay? You have, in fact, manifested something brand new. Page, uh, page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Magician, Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. You have manifested something brand new. And that's what I'm getting here with the... With the, with the I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know why this is happening right now. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, 
I don't know what's going on. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but what I'm getting here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician, you've you've really taken you've really taken the situation into your own hands here. You really have. And you're 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 manifesting something new. And what I'm getting with judgment here is the universe following through with what it is you've been you've been working on. Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Okay, the Page of Cups can be about reconciliation, but what I'm getting here is with the Page of Cups, this was you, uh, Page of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles, this was you diving deep into your emotions and figuring things out. What works for you? What doesn't work for you? What it is, what it, what's going on with your emotional reality? And doing the work surrounding that, Eight of Pentacles, to bring things into balance, Two of Pentacles. And what I'm getting specifically with this Two of Pentacles is that this was not easy for you, okay? You really had to, you really had to make some hard decisions about what it is that you want in your life and what it is that you don't want in your life, and that is directly connected to this devil energy. Directly connected to this devil energy. Because there are some things that you really had to work hard on letting go of. Really had to work hard on that. And I'm picking up for some of you, these are some things and maybe even some people. I mean, this, this literally could, this could literally be your twin flame. Or someone that resonates as that for you. The hardest thing for you to do was to let them go and be open to aligning with someone else. And this is not out of, what I'm getting with this is, this is not out of malice. This is not out of spite. This is not out of hatred. This is not out of proving something to someone. Regardless of what it is that you, you two went through on your journey of awakening, really, because that's really what this was, a journey of awakening. No matter how much love you may have felt for each other, you absolutely had to let each other go and go your separate ways. And you had to open yourself up to the possibility of finding love, partnership, family, whatnot, whatever, with someone else. And that was one of the hardest things you had. I'm literally getting choked up here just channeling this energy for you. But that was one of the hardest things you have ever had to do in your life. It's about to pay off, though. It's about to pay off. What I'm also getting is that some of you had to release the other person. Now, this doesn't have to be your twin flame. It doesn't have to be. This is a general message, and my channel is not just geared towards twin flames. This is for everybody. So if this is, resonates for you somehow, then please go ahead, and, go ahead and, and, and place it in your life as it resonates. But, um, oh, shoot. I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's just go ahead and get Spirit's take on this then. This is a good thing, you guys. This is a very, very good thing. And this has a lot to do with 2020. The year 2020. Because I do feel like that's going to be, that's a time of, like the, I almost want to say the onset of the unconditional love that we have been preparing for, right? That we have been integrating and, and anchoring, right? It's like, I feel like that's really when we're going to start to see the conscious and physical effects of that on our reality. Oh, 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 I remember now. Um, what I was going to say, Six of Cups, Nine of Swords in reverse could also be that process of you releasing this. That's, that absolutely, where is, where is it? 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 That absolutely could be what this Ten of Swords is also. The magician with the Wheel of Fortune, you stepped off the karmic wheel. 
you stepped off the karmic hamster wheel. And this, and I mean, you may not resonate with what I'm about to say, but the way I see it, these twin flame relationships is just a buildup of karma over many lifetimes, many parallel lifetimes. Karma building and building and building and building until it reaches this point where it's like, you guys, we have to learn these lessons. This is why it's so intense. This is why it's such a, and this doesn't mean that you guys aren't going to end up together. If you still resonate with that, it doesn't mean that you're not still going to end up together. If that's what's meant for you. But many of us have actively stepped off this karmic wheel and are manifesting something new. Because we learned the lessons associated with these, karma, with these relationships. And now we're doing something different which in essence is bringing something new into our existence, into our reality. Make sense? Awesome. Okay. I don't know if I said this before, but this judgment card here does feel like the new coming in that you've been, it's like you've been setting the stage for it and now the judgment here is, is it's like the angels are blowing the horn of saying, okay, bring it in. You know what I mean? That's beautiful, you guys. All right. Let's get Spirit's take on this here. What does Spirit have to say about this? This relationship that's budding, that's starting. Page of Wands. There could be a message coming through very soon. Ooh. What is all of this, Spirit? Top three cards. <laughs> We have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. We have the Eight and the Nine of Pentacles again with the Hanged Man. Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, Page of Wands, Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, Five of Swords, Four of Swords, Three of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Four of swords, I'm sorry, four of wands, eight of swords, page of wands, three of cups, seven of cups. This is someone wanting to come forward, make an offer, but they're confused as to how to. Um, there is a social environment involved. Um, there could be friends involved on either side. Someone may be... There's some sort of confinement here, guys. Eight of Swords. There's some sort of obstacle blocking the path. Is this person already in a relationship with someone? Mm. I don't know. Don't 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 get don't don't get your knickers in a twist over that. I, what I'm feeling here is someone is having trouble figuring out how to communicate wanting to approach someone else, feeling blockage or feeling confined in terms of a friend's circle, potentially. Almost like crossing party lines <laughs> is kind of what I'm picking up on here. There is a conscious effort or there has been a conscious effort to leave drama behind, backstabbing energies behind. There could be some conflict. I just feel like I feel like this is someone trying to figure out how to how to approach someone else. That's basically that's basically what I'm getting here. But you do have the nine of pentacles, the eight of pentacles with the hanged man. So this is spirit confirming that you've been doing a lot of hard work to get yourself into this new perspective that you're in. It's paying off, is that's basically what this is saying. So if you have gained a new perspective lately, hold on to that. <coughs> Excuse me.
Yeah, I keep hearing friend circle. It's something to do with that. But the page of wands here, someone wants to communicate. There's a message that wants to be sent here. Four of wands again. See, this is good. This four of wands energy is very good. I wonder why this eight of swords is here, though. Why is this eight of swords here? I'm curious. I want to look. We're going to go with it. I'm going to do this. Why is this eight of swords here, spirit? Why is this Eight of Swords here? Why is this Eight of Swords here? Someone feels Knight of Wands. I guess someone doesn't want to... Woo! With the Chariot. Wow. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. I guess someone doesn't want to... Um, doesn't want to come off too strong. You have the Knight of Wands with the Chariot. Whoa. This could be someone that may have been watching you for some time. That may have wanted to may have wanted to communicate with you for some time. And maybe they just got wind of the fact that you might feel there might be some sort of mutual feelings here. And now there's like this excitement, this exuberance to Yeah, this could be someone that could have been watching you for a little bit. Had may have had their eye on you. You know, seeing you here and there every once in a while, but never really thought to approach you. Never thought it was appropriate, maybe. But now, for some reason, they they are they feel like it. Yeah, see, now my eyes are being drawn back to this King of Cups that's up here. Um, for some reason, something has shifted, and now they're kind of like, "Ooh, maybe I do have a chance." They might be psyching themselves out a little bit with the Eight of Swords. That's sweet, you guys. Okay, um, we're going to get our Oracle Guidance now, and we're going to go with the Dragons. Yeah? Okay. One last shuffle. And then we'll see what we got here. Guidance, please, Spirit, to close out our reading today. Woo! Here we go. Ooh, wow. Black dragon from Saturn. Holy moly. Brings you wisdom through spiritual discipline. Concentrate. Focus on your ultimate vision. Congratulate yourself. You have passed a test. <laughs> yes. 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 I don't even want to channel any more about that. I'm going to read from the book, obviously, but like that says it all right there. And as soon as that came out, as soon as I saw Saturn on that card, I was like, holy shit, we did it. This is definitely a culmination of the, all of the things that you have learned and experienced over the last, I want to say over the last two years specifically. Between that activation, that ma massive activation I guess we'll call it an activation portal that happened for so many of us back in the summer of 2017 up until now moving into 2020. Okay. Shit, y'all. Is this a fourth? Oh, wait. Wait. There it is. It's a fifth dimensional dragon. Okay. Here you go. Fifth dimensional black dragons work directly with the masters of the masters of Kishi, Kishi, the ascendant aspect of Saturn. They help us to organize and apply ourselves to tasks, however small or large they may be. Black indicates a feminine energy of rest, 
peace, and calm, which enables the wisdom to come forward. It could not do so if there was too much masculine thrust. These dragons work with Archangel Gabriel, who, ra who radiates pure white light. He is in overall charge of the base center, where we hold fifth dimensional spiritual discipline. This is what enables all the fifth dimensional chakras to anchor. Archangel Gabriel's energy balances that of the black dragons of Saturn. These dragons also carry the pure violet flame of transmutation, which is held in Saturn, and use it to dissolve thoughts that are not focused on the ultimate vision. The guidance here says, A black dragon from Saturn has appeared to you now, as it is time for you to address tasks with discipline and focus. Spiritual discipline is vital to ground the higher energies on your pathway. The black dragon will give you focus, concentration, determination, awareness, and the ability to plan and stick to a routine where necessary. Receiving this card is a true blessing as it indicates that your feet are firmly planted on your ascension path and you do everything for the highest good of all. This dragon also brings you congratulations from the angelic world as you have passed a test you have been undergoing. It is time to celebrate your success and step forward with discipline as well as with joy and bliss. Beautiful, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.